Hello everyone, my name is Tara G. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. At every opportunity, Darren Ritter provides Firehouse 51 with novel concepts. Where will the storyline take the character in the next 12th season of Chicago Fire? We investigate the various options available. On Chicago Fire, the audience does not spend a great deal of time with Darren Ritter. It is definitely an issue that the program has to work on fixing. When we do get the chance to see him, it's almost always for something wonderful. Ritter is one of those men that always looks out for the safety of others. He is willing to lend a hand in the firehouse wherever it is required. And he is the type of person who can suggest innovative ways to attract new students to the fire school and demonstrate what it is that firefighters actually do. Additionally, he is looking for ways to safeguard his own future, as was evident when he discussed the possibility of starting a microbrewery with Gallo and Violet. Even though we have a long way to go before the premiere of Chicago Fire Season 12, we are going to let that stop us from looking ahead. Since the writers and actors are now on strike, nothing has been decided for certain just yet. But what are the possibilities, and what do we hope to see? In the upcoming 12th season of Chicago Fire, what will happen to Darren Ritter? When we asked Daniel Keery about his role in the show, he mentioned that he wished there would be a more emphasis placed on the personal aspects of Ritter's life. We need to see lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and a sexual love in all of its grandeur. And we also need to understand how similar it is to heterosexual love. There are good times and bad times. It doesn't always work out perfectly. The reality of life is that it is chaotic, and we must acknowledge this. In addition to that, I'd really enjoy watching more of Ritter working on his future. There was a significant amount of emphasis placed on Ritter, Gallo, and Violet cooperating with one another in the same manner as Herman and Mouch did with the bar. The group of three devised an approach to microbrewing that proved to be quite successful. However, this plotline was abandoned as soon as the group encountered a few difficulties brought on by Gallo's inability to reciprocate the affections of someone else. There hasn't even been a single word said about that. In addition, this presents a fantastic opportunity for Ritter to stand up and shine. He has been there for Herman to help relieve some of the pressure there. But now Mouch is unable to participate in the game. Whether Mouch lives or dies, the outcome will have repercussions for Ritter in one way or another. Ritter looks up to Mouch in a similar way as Herman does, so everything that's transpired is bound to have an impact on his mental state to some degree. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.